everyone, it's Julia and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I have a sewing project for, for you. It's something I'm working on for my little summer shop up here in Lakeland in Minnesota. And this is a, a shirt that I purchased through my one of my suppliers. I have eight of them, two of every size. And it's, a bad, it's called Badger Sport. And it's a quarter zip. It has little thumb, a little thumb hole, which I think is really, really fun. And it's 100% polyester, but really lightweight. And I just thought they'd be nice for, for summertime and um, just cool evenings. I'm wanting to put a, a free motion design on this. And I'm going to be cutting my design using my Big Shot and my Sizzix bicycle die. I'm gonna put the bicycle right here. I'm also thinking about maybe adding a, like a butterfly or something, or not a butterfly, but maybe a dragonfly or something too. And so let's get started. I'm gonna start with cutting my fabrics and kind of show you the process. I'm using black for my fabric, for my bicycle, and I already have heat and bond light iron on the back side of this. I get it at Walmart. It comes in the in the purple package. You want to have heat and bond light if you're going to be sewing. And I will be sewing this on. My next step is to run it through my big shot. I have my die face up and I'm laying my pieces so that the heat and bond light is facing up. I want the bicycle going towards the center of the shirt. So you kind of have to be mindful of how you're laying, how you're cutting these out. And I'm going to be cutting two layers at a time. This is kind of a detailed um, die. It has little, little pieces to it, I should say. And so I'm only going to do two layers at a time. Otherwise, you can sometimes cut up to four layers of fabric. Running it through. I'm carefully peeling it off here. And you can kind of see that. I'm just going to work this out. Sometimes you need to use your scissor just to kind of cut that little detail. Just it's just kind of hanging on there. I've got really narrow pieces, so I want to make sure that I don't tear anything here. There it comes. And there it is. All cut out. I decided on the Sizzix die, butterflies and dragonfly for the, the little embellishment but right beside the, the bicycle. And I'm going to be using the dragonfly. I have plenty of this leftover black still with heat and bond on the back. So I'm going to be cutting just a little piece of this for the body of the dragonfly. And that'll get laid on first. And then I put heat and bond or iron on heat and bond light to the back side of this kind of pink batik fabric. And that's going to be the wings. And I'll lay that over the top of the wings and run this through. And that's the wing and the little the body of it. I'm just going to trim this excess off. And the body just lays over the top of the wing. So let's take it to the garment and get one iron on. Peeling the back side of the heat and bond off of the bike. And doing the same with the dragonfly. And just kind of seeing how I want this laid out. I think I 
like that best. I'm gonna go and take it, my iron now, and press that down into place. And now it's to my sewing machine. This is really a lightweight fabric, and so I'm gonna need a little something something underneath this so that my stitches lay smooth. And I'm going to be putting a piece of this stitch, stitch away, tear away, kind of like a stabilizer on the back side. This is easy to tear off once I'm done stitching, and then also the rest of it just kind of dissolves once it's been washed a few times. I'm going to be using black thread, and notice how a lot of this bike is just kind of delicate. There's just very small lines, or a fat, not much fabric is what I'm trying to say, and so I'm going to be using a lot of stitching. I'll be going over areas several times just to kind of almost fill in those those areas so that if this fabric does completely go away once it's been washed several times you're still going to have the stitched image and it's going to look like a bicycle so i'm going to be setting up at the sewing machine um black thread on the top and a bobbin thread on the bottom and let's get started i do have my embroidery foot on and my feed dogs dropped so I'm going to be doing all the motion. When I start my free motion applique, I do a little jig first, just like a little back and forth motion to kind of set my, my thread, almost ties a knot, so I don't have to worry about it fraying or working its way loose. And then I'm just going to start off slow and I'm just going to keep going here. Cutting my thread. One of the things that I really love about free motion stitching is that you can actually draw with your thread. And so I'm going to be putting in some detail on the dragonfly's wings, putting in some ant antennas, and also I'll probably do like a little flight pattern or whatever you want to call it off its tail. To finish my stitching, I again do just a little back and forth motion, and then I'll cut my thread. I wanted to show you the back side, and I have not removed any of the stabilizer yet, So, and it just rips off very easily. And I'll just go around and I'll just tear this off, get in the little wheel spokes here too and take off as much as I can 
And then, there, like I said, the rest of it's just going to kind of dissolve or just kind of disappear when it's been when it's been laundered a few times. I also wanted to show you. I added a little bit of a, a detail to the zipper pull. I like to be able to do that whenever I can. And this zipper pull had a, a little hole at the very top here, so I was able to put a little bit of the fabric through that. It's the same fabric that I use for the wings. I was able to put a little bit of that through that, and I just tore a piece of this so it does have that frayed edge. I love using batik fabrics. They act so much like a ribbon because they're the same on the both the front and the back. So it's very easy to do that. And it just adds a little bit of detail to the top. This is a turned out great. I love it. It's going to sell well. I think this summer it's really bright. <laughs> but I think for summer it's going to be just great. Um, that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching and until next time, have just a great day and I hope you have a chance to create and so, bye!